Hello everyone, I am Lythus and welcome back to another video, and today I have another manga first impressions, this time for a series put out by Yen Press, Murcielago, and uh, I have read the first three volumes of this series, um, I believe five volumes are out currently, and like, a lot more are out in Japan, so we are not going to be caught up with this series for a while, um, uh, but uh, to get things started off, I'm just going to talk about the volumes for a second. They are, uh, as I've said before, put out by Yen Press um, in their standard format, that is, um, which I do actually kind of like. They are nicer than those Viz volumes, but uh, they do go for $13 retail, which is kind of a negative, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. I uh, can't really change the price of that, um, unless you're buying online, which I recommend you do anyway. But uh, anyway, to get into the series, um, quick thing to note, uh, it's marketed as a Yuri, though it isn't a Yuri. Um, one of the characters is a lesbian, and Yen Press decided to jump on that chance to slap the Yuri label onto it to get people to buy it that are Yuri fans. Um, if you're a Yuri fan, uh, know that this isn't really a Yuri series. Um, but other than that, um, nothing really special about its marketing uh, sort of practices, uh, aside from that. But, uh, this is a very, very high-octane, high-action, uh, very graphic, um, series, as you can see. Um, it has that M, uh, for Mature from Yen Press. Um, so, if you are a little bit squeamish, you may want to avoid this. Um, but, other than that, uh, you know, it's really, really fun. Um, and enjoyable because it is that high action, super fast paced sort of uh, do stuff now, watch cool action, and do you know awesome things. It's very much a rule, uh, the rule of cool. Um, so if you're into cool things um, and absurd action scenes, then this is one I do think you're going to absolutely love just because it really hammers that home very well. Um, to take a look at the art. Um, let's see if I'm gonna have to censor stuff. Answer, no, we're not gonna have, uh, I'm not gonna have to. Uh, at least not yet. Um, the art is pretty good. Uh, very good, I would even say. Like, uh, yeah, you can see. Uh, very, very graphic. Um, so, not for the squeamish. Um, again, there are also sexual situations, uh, sexual scenes involved, so if you are not a fan of that, then maybe look elsewhere. And, uh, fan service. Um, you can look at the cover of that second volume, uh, or even the first volume, really, and you kind of know what most of the character designs are going to look like. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind if you're thinking about picking this up. Um, now, I do know that this is, some people really absolutely adore this series, and I can absolutely understand why. Um, because it really does a good job at delivering awesome action with really fun and quirky characters. Um, so, the characters are well sort of, I don't want to say developed, but sort of structured, I would say, is a better word to describe, um, what the characters are. And the author, or the mangaka, has done a very, very good job at, uh, you know, presenting them and having them behave very consistently. Um, because all the characters do and say things that you would absolutely expect characters to do and say, based on sort of who they are and the actions they sort of take. Um, now, as I have said before, um, it is very graphic. And so taking that into account, this is not a series for everyone. So I cannot just go out and say I recommend this to every single buddy in the audience. Uh, if you don't like over the top action, uh, if you don't like rule of cool stuff, if you don't like fan service, if you don't like uh, sexual situations, uh, this may not be a manga for you, and if you're a Yuri fan wanting more Yuri, this is not going to deliver on that aspect, but if you are not uh, looking, or if, if you're a Yuri fan not looking for Yuri, um, or if you're someone that is totally okay with sex, violence, and just sort of graphic content, this is a series I definitely recommend, and if you're a fan of action and you're not squeamish, which, you know, a lot of action, if you're squeamish, gonna be a no-go, so I assume if you're an action fan, you're gonna absolutely love this series. Um, one other thing to note that may be a little important uh, to some people, 
um, is that uh, it kind of... I'm not quite sure if it's going to go down a harem route for our main female character, but it is looking like maybe uh, a lot of the characters are going to be around her a lot, and the uh, relationship might not always be just friends, if you know what I'm talking about, just kind of who the character or the main character is, and sort of the situations that are involved. So, you know, if you're okay with that, this, again, this is a great series to check out. Um, you know, while I don't think it is the best series out there, um, I do definitely believe it delivers on, you know, what it's trying to do, which is a high-octane, super fast-paced, super fun, super cool action series, and so it really executes that very well. So I do give this series high marks, though it is not for everyone. Um, if you're not a fan of graphic content, I know I've, like, repeated myself so much uh, on this one point, but uh, it's not a series for everyone, but if it is a series for you, then I think you will absolutely love it. Um, I kind of fall into the mid-ground where I'm not loving it, but I'm really, really enjoying it. And, uh, you know, I'm going to cut here for a brief second and show you guys one of my, you know, oddly, I am attached to this, I don't know how to say it, but you're going to see in a little bit. All right, here, here it is. These things, for whatever reason, I find these things absolutely adorable and I think they're amazing. Um, it's got, I don't know why. I just think they're amazing. So this series does have some weird and wacky sort of uh, designs in it and some sort of over-the-top crazy, you know, exaggerated and caricature, yeah, caricature, caricatures, if I can speak, of uh, certain things. Um, and also, if you are a fan of, like, uh, the Cthulhu uh, mythos, there are a lot of references in here to that. I have not read Call of Cthulhu, um, nor have I read any Lovecraft, to my knowledge. I would like to do so, but I haven't uh, as of now. But there's a lot of references to Lovecraft in here. So if you are a Lovecraft fan, you might find this series... Uh, it has a little bit of an extra touch to it that you are going to enjoy. Uh, I'll say that. But uh, yes. Uh, oh, last thing to note. The spines on this series look really, really good. So... You know, that's another plus. Yen Press did a great job um, with the spines uh, for this series. But uh, yeah, that will do it for this manga first impressions video. Um, uh, if you have read this series, uh, let me know what you think of it down in the comments down below. Also, if you have any suggestions for other series that I could do, review, first impression, that kind of thing, or maybe just recommend me a series to read, you can leave those in the comments as well. If you would like to follow me on Twitter, there is a link to that in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and share. And if you'd like to keep up to date with all of my content, you can hit that subscribe button. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I am Lathus. Goodbye.